what is up familia welcome back to the channel if you are new around these parts hello thank you so much for clicking i am anna and on this channel we budget plan and love us some sticky paper friends in today's video i am back with another cash stuffing video i am going to be stuffing the funds from my paycheck two for march as well as a little bit of money from my state tax return it's kind of all mixed in as one uh, but i will make sure to pop a graphic on the screen for you guys so you guys can see the breakdown and what went where as far as funds and money and bills and today we are going to find out how much we are going to be saving total for March. So um, I'm gonna show you guys really quick. We're gonna revisit this at the end, but basically I have my savings challenge sinking fund or envelope here. And what I did was just note on this little sticky note, the amounts that I've saved so far each month. I have been doing the budget mom savings challenge as well as just contributing money from my paychecks to really bolster up my savings, which is what I am focusing on. That's like my financial focus right now, making sure that I um, pad my emergency fund. I'm trying to get it to 20K. I don't know if I'll get it to 20K this year, but I wanna at least save 5K towards an emergency fund this year. So, so far, I've been able to save $433 in January and then $350 in February. So let's just do it on my phone. So if I go ahead and add 433 plus 350, that is going to be 783. And I already have the money from my March Budget Mom Savings Challenge. If you guys missed that cash stuffing video, I'll be sure to link it up in the cards for you guys. But just in case you missed it... I did save $56, so $55 and $6 from that savings challenge. And then I'm also, again, going to contribute some money towards this from my paycheck two in March. So, so that means if I go ahead and add $56, that I have a total of $839 saved. You guys, I'm really trying to get to $1K this month. I'm, I want to use my first 1K slip, which I already have here. If y'all didn't notice, we also have a, some cash tray action going on here. It's like a little sparkly, glittery one. Um, I will have it linked down below if you guys are interested in this cash tray as well. And if I don't know if you can get, you guys can really appreciate the sparkle with the cash in it, but after we do it, I'll try to give you a bit more of a close up. Um, but it's super fun. But anyways, <laughs> we've saved a total of 839 and in order to get to 1k for this month, we need $161 total from either leftover cash from our cash envelopes, which we do have some leftover cash. So combo of that and whatever we contribute to savings from this paycheck. So let's see if we can hit 161 and finally put in a um 1k slip and if you guys are wondering this 1k slip is from intentional living okay now that we've got that all out of the way let's get started with our cash envelopes the first thing i'm going to do is check in and see what we have left over any leftover cash up cash envelope money for paycheck two does get um, put into my savings. So first things first, we do have some money left over in groceries, which is nothing short of a miracle. And we have 20, 40, and it's $60 left over in groceries, you guys, which I think is really, really great. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that over here to the side. So that is groceries. Next, we have gasoline and gas is empty friends y'all already know what gas is doing we won't even talk about it but she empty empty <laughs> super empty um not a surprise to anyone eating out is also very very empty as you guys can see then we have beauty and beauty does have some money in it let's see looks like we got quite a bit in beauty so we have 50 and 70 dollars left in beauty you guys and that's because these nails have not been done i'm trying to just give them some space to breathe so 70 dollars left over in beauty is amazing i'm gonna push that over here to my pile and we'll count that in a little bit and then finally, I have spending and spending, of course, as per usual, empty, empty, empty AF, y'all, empty AF. Okay, so I'm going to count this money 
after so we can see where we're at. And if we are ready to use a 1K slip, I'm just gonna pop it in right here. And now we can go ahead and stuff our cash envelopes. So first up is groceries. Groceries is gonna get its usual $300. So I'm gonna do, let's do 50, 250, so let's do another 50. Then I'm gonna do a few 20s, 10, and I'll do, Twenties, right? Okay, I think that should equal three hundred dollars. Let's see, you guys. Who knows? So we have fifty, one hundred, one fifty, one seventy, one ninety, two ten, two thirty, two fifty, two seventy, two ninety, three hundred dollars for groceries. Ah, I feel so good to get these envelopes fed, y'all. It really does. Up next, we have gasoline, and gas is getting $40, which, you guys, I'm going to be completely honest, is not enough these days. <laughs> but I pumped gas today, basically. Um, so next time it needs gas, um, it's likely that my boyfriend will fill it. So I'm not anticipating that I will need this, because we don't drive a ton, but y'all... It was $60 at the pump today to fill up the tank. And that's, I've never spent that much on gas ever in my life. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, then we have eating out. Eating out is not going to get stuffed. I am allocating $50. It's just gonna be in my account. For some reason, really actually, it's because I forget to take this money out all the time because it's a newish category. And I just always forget that I have it, y'all. So. I need to make a mental note to remember to take out my eating out money. But for the time being, it's just going to be electronic. So it'll stay in my account, which works out because I usually am using my card anyway for it. Then we have beauty and beauty is getting $100. Beauty I really need change for. So I'm going to try to do 20s. Smaller bills. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100 for beauty. Like I said, I'm really gonna try to let my nails breathe for a bit. It's so hard, you guys. I'm so used to having them cute and done and pretty um, for y'all, but also mostly for me <laughs> too. Um, you guys, why can I get this like together? I can't get it together over here. Um, I'm so used to having them like pretty and you know, I just miss them. I just miss them being cute, you know, you know. So I don't know how long this little hiatus will, will last, but we're gonna try to make it last as long as possible so we can save that money. Okay, so beauty is all set with 100. And then finally, we do have spending and spending gets 150. So let's do 50, two 20s and a 10. That should work. Here I am adjusting. Let me know down below what you guys think about this cash tray setup. You know, I go back and forth. Uh, 50, 100, um, 120, 140, and 150. So 150 for spending. All right, y'all. So my cash envelopes are good to go. Eating out is the only one that's still empty. But as I mentioned, I'm just going to go ahead and do that one electronically for uh, this pay period. So, so that is it for cash envelopes, you guys. Now we're going to move over to our sinking funds. All right, friends. So here is my sinking funds binder. I do store all of my sinking fund envelopes in here. I do just take them out for the stuffing recently because they're pretty stacked, which is amazing. Um, and it's just easier for me to stuff them kind of individually versus sticking them or doing them in the binder. So, um, this should also be linked down below. I'm pretty sure it's an Amazon affiliate link, which just means if you you know purchase anything or use any of the links down below I do get a small commission so if you want to support the channel you already know what to do y'all all right let's get into the sinking funds okay so first up is car maintenance and car maintenance for those of you who are newbies to the channel is a sinking fund for my new car because I don't currently have a car I pretty much share my boyfriend's car at the moment so I am saving up for my own so currently we have four hundred and fifty dollars from our last cash stuffing and I am going to be adding fifty dollars to car maintenance this week so I'm going to grab a 50 since we're kind of low on 20s 
Are we? Oh no, we're good on 20s. I don't know why it seemed like we were low on 20s, but. So I should now have $500 in my car maintenance sinking fund, which again is just my new car fund. And if you guys are wondering, the sinking funds trackers that you guys see are from Intentional Living. The sinking fund cash envelopes are from Oh My Pies. And the mini cash envelopes that I used in the beginning are also from Intentional Living. Everyone is listed, uh, is linked down below in the description for you guys. Okay, so $500 is what we should have for car maintenance. So we have 100, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 420, 440, 460, 480, 490, $500. Oh, that's pretty awesome, y'all. Pumped. Might have to use a 1K slip for this. I think I still got some time before that happens, but hey, I will take it because a new car <laughs> uh, requires just so much money. Do you guys ever feel like, I mean, I'm so, 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 so thankful for any money that I can stuff into my sinking funds, but do you guys ever feel like the amount of money you need to save to get to the goal is just so large and you're like, good Lord, when am I going to get to this? <sighs> Let me know down below if you can relate. Of course, I continue stuffing, consistency wins, those dollars do, um add up and build up quicker than you think but then there are times where you're just like it can't build up quick enough you know so anyway car maintenance has 500 I will update all my trackers afterwards um so you guys don't have to sit through that so car maintenance is all set Next, we have Café with Anna, and Café with Anna is pretty stacked, y'all. I believe she's at 520, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. 520 for Café with Anna, y'all. And this week, Café with Anna is getting $20, so she should be then at 540. So let's make sure she is. Let's see. So we have 100, 200, 220, 40, 60, 80, 300, 320, 40, 60, 80, 400. Yes. Yes. 420, 40, 60, 80, 490, 500, 510, 520, 530, 540. Y'all, listen. <laughs> what are numbers? <laughs> All right, 540 in Cafe with Anna, which is pretty awesome. So that is all set. Next up is Gifts, and Gifts is getting $20 as well. And I did spend some money from Gifts. I bought a housewarming gift for my friend. It was just a Target, Target gift card, but um, I did spend $50 on that. So we're back down to $115, and today Gifts is getting $20. So that should put us at 135, I think. Let's see. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130, 31, 32, 33, 4, and 5. 135, so that's right. 135 for gifts. So gifts is all set. Next, we have subscriptions, and subscriptions currently has $130. And subscriptions is getting $20. So I'm going to do, let's see, should I do a couple tens? Uh, no, we still got a decent amount of 20s. Let's do 20s. And subscriptions now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 140, and 150. And that does make sense. Perfect, because I had 130. Great. I love when it all adds up. So subscriptions is good to go. This one I don't need to really kind of stuff as aggressively. So I probably could even put less, but it's okay. And next up is travel. And travel currently has $100. Remember, we took out a big chunk of this to pay for our flights to Cali. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am going to be going to Cali in April. I'm very excited. We're going to go to Disneyland. I'm going to see my bestie. It's going to be great, but we need money for that. So. <laughs> so travel is going to get $50. So I'm going to take another 50 and now we're going to be at 150. So just one and or one and 50. So there is that so travel is all set. Next up is clothes, and clothes 
is getting, Clothes has 30 currently and Clothes is getting $20. So let's grab another 20. So Clothes now has $50, 20, 40, and 50. Clothes is all set. Next up is Fun and Fun currently has $50, or at least that's what it should have. Yes, and Fun is getting another 20, so we're gonna take another 20 here. And that's gonna be 20, 40, 60, and $70 in uh, Fun. Next up is Big Purchases, and Big Purchases currently has $420. And Big Purchases is just getting $20 today, nothing too wild. I think I'm gonna do two tens for this one. So we have 100, 200, 250, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 420, 430, and $440 in Big Purchases, which is not bad. For that so big purchases is all set and last and most certainly not least before we get into savings is my condo for y'all it's just so it's too depressing honestly but alas here we are so my condo fee is $325 so I should have three here 20 and a five so we have 100, 200, 320, and five for my condo fee. Feels like highway robbery, but who am I? <laughs> right? All right, condo fee is all set, y'all. Okay, now we are gonna get into the fun. The first thing we are going to stuff is my Disney savings challenge. As you guys know, I am going to Disneyland, so I'm trying to stack this as much as possible. And today it is getting $60, so I'm gonna do the 50 and the 10. So let's go ahead and pop that in. And I think I miscounted this last cash stuffing so we're gonna get a fresh count today to see where we're really at so before i count this you guys i am doing the simply sweet savings challenge it's a shop on etsy and she has a 3k disney savings challenge so initially my goal with that was to save for our disney world trip next year hopefully before the 50th is done but you know we kind of threw together this cali trip last minute so <laughs> We're shifting gears, y'all, and trying to amp this up as much, as much as possible before we go. So now we have 50, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 310, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80. So we have $380 in Disney, which is amazing. Y'all, I never like color in the worksheets. I'm like the worst at that, y'all. <laughs> I'm the worst. Um, but here is Disney with 380. I'm gonna go ahead and just write it write it on here since I'm terrible and I don't color in the worksheet like I like I should. Like a good noodle. Okay, so that is Disney. And then finally, you guys, it's time to see if it is 1k slip time. So here is our savings sinking fund. Remember, we calculated in the beginning that we need at least $161 to be able to go ahead and use a 1K slip, y'all. Savings is getting $100 from my paycheck uh, breakdown today. And then we are adding all of the leftover cash. Let's see, y'all. Let's see. And here are my little 1K slips ready. So savings is getting a total this week of 150, 170, 190, 210, $230, which puts us above the 161 that we need to start using our 1K slip, you guys. So the total saved for March. Are you ready, y'all? Are you ready? Let's see. How much did we save total in March? with the budget mom and with just putting as much as we can to savings, we have a total of 100, 150, uh, 200 to 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86. Y'all, $386 for March is so much better than I thought we would do. It's so exciting, y'all. And that means we have hit it. 
we are at 1K, 1K slip. Here it is. Oh, 1K slip, 1K slip. This is the first time I'm using a 1K slip on the channel, y'all. So this is like a momentous occasion. That is wild. That is wild. We did it. We hit 1K three months into the year, and I'm just super pumped. We're even a, a bit over, so I'm so excited to see you know, how quickly we can get these 5K, this 5K towards that emergency fund, y'all. So super, super exciting. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my to bank envelope because it's going to go to my bank. All right, y'all. And now that everything is all stuffed, I'm going to see if you guys can see a little bit of the sparkle. I know it's probably hard to see on camera, but there is some sparkle on this one. So again, if you guys are interested, I'll have it linked down below and you guys can check it out. All right, y'all. That is it. We are done and adjusted, as my friends would say. I can't remember. I feel like Money with Gab says that. Pretty sure Money with Gab says that. Let me know down below, girl. <laughs> All right, if you guys have made it to this point in the video, be sure to include the emoji that I'm going to pop in right here, just so I know that you are the true MVP and I can celebrate you as I truly celebrate you all, all the time. Um, thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down below how March is treating you. Are you saving? Are you doing savings challenges? Are you a savings challenge hoe, as Chris Budgets would say? Are you on a debt payoff kick or focus right now? Let me know all of the things down below y'all and I will see y'all real real soon bye